melee supports. I would be careful of Trundle Renata, maybe. Don't care about Lee Sin. Galio is really good at Lee Sin. Don't care about Sin Zhao. Maybe you could do Trundle Sin Zhao. Okay, thank God for that. Or you can do Trundle Renata. Next in line, and uh, you know, a lot of teams would go ahead and ban the Skarner here as well. But I, I think that you're not as worried. Skarner ban is useless. It's really one. useless. But it's definitely one that's on their radar. I really think that Renata is fine. Uh, hasn't played that many games Actually, Renata, the if they don't ban Nautilus, Renata doesn't matter. You just pick, you just play Galio, Wukong, Zeri, Nautilus into Renata. It's fine. I, imagine that I think Zinzao is the best ban. <laughs> Love the Trindemir ban. The old. Uh, just ban Zin. Zinzao is the best. Yeah, it's been a while since we've seen the Trindemir. It's really interesting. Um, I think that for T1 here, with the Trundle ban, you're already feeling pretty good about locking in the tank top side here. You don't necessarily need to win the matchup into the Gwen, but it does eliminate that uh, skill-based matchup that Dudu might have to play into on Zeus' side. There will be a ban on the Rakan here. Don't they get Very Sinzao on four, and they can count? They can uh, count pick support. Here for Life, if they had the Rakan, uh, with the I think Emperor's it's good for them to go Sinzao on four. Zipper, of course, going to be able to speed up the Rakan, but not a huge fan of this. Band, don't like Viego. Yeah, it's not my I don't favorite. know about. The, I don't get the Rakan. I think maybe the, are they playing Rakan into Renata? Is that what they're scared of? Because they don't want to play Sivir Nautilus or something? Huh? They don't play what? Viego, whatever. Then you have so many options here. T1, you have Jax. You can play tank top because they have. Uh, Sivir Azir, Akali's good into Gwen, I like that. You have support options, again, you have Nautilus, Renata, Seraphine is okay, Leona's good, Alistar is good, you have so many options. I think there's too many OPs to fuck this draft up. I just think, I don't know about this, the, the Galio too much, but... This composition both dives, but also sets up really nice wombo. I mean, they have Severe Brown. It's very difficult to actually use Viego. Severe. Into these taunts, and then Akali could just simply. Uh, Nautilus, Severe Tom. Yeah, it's a really beautiful Zeri yeah. that uh, T1 have put together. But yeah, I think T1's like comp is good. Vista, going to collect the Tom Kench. Most I don't understand the Galio, though. Really Maybe it's like something that's working for them in scrims. Composition, just because we mentioned T1, a whole lot of AoE CC. If Vista manages to get that devour, Maybe it's something that works them in scrims, I'm not sure. Then he can save not the worst. Dudu or Chani from these situations yeah. and potentially mitigate a lot of the AoE that uh, Show the truck. <laughs> Dom there. is waiting for the I truck. Like the pick doesn't necessarily have a whole lot of power in lane, but neither Pog, does Zeri Leona. Go, yeah, man. you're not playing for lane with this Tom Kench pick. Like you said, Just you're got back from what my dentist said was a challenging filling. Just in time for a T1 game, let's go. Extremely potent it's it's Dom's new meme now. Dom is gonna use the truck meme so much. I know it. I can see it coming. I'm literally only here for the truck. Dom, I don't think they have a camera outside to show the truck, but if they do, I will take a screenshot and send it to you. Zeri's gonna struggle in the early parts where this comp is gonna really be online for Hunter Life. The producer's like, yo! Can we get a camera on the truck? Can someone hold a sign saying it's my truck and they have the car keys in their hand? I would love that. Yeah, that's the thing. And uh, I think that the T1 factor may come in clutch here. But like you say, there's some based Hanwell Life fans in the audience. Uh, something quite nice. The Viego sort of stands out as something that is going to need a little bit of help uh, getting some work done in the early stages. But I think Hummel Life having a bit of an onus on them to make things happen in the earlier stages of the game is definitely warranted because they're up against a Zeri composition and we all know what happens uh, when a Zeri composition gets online. Yeah, and for me, the focal point is on dun, 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 because dun. I want to see what Chani does with this pick, the Sivir, that is going, this game is going to be so much about him. I want to see what Wheeler ends up getting done with this Viego. You know, these players that have been subbed in here tonight, how will they perform in the draft that's given to them? Yeah, I can't do the ads now, so the ads might... Exactly right. I'm sorry if the ads kick in halfway through the game. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, if the ads come in halfway through the game, I'm sorry. You want fighting? Not bad, not bad for Hanwell Life. 
like to see that, and uh, especially the fan chant leader who almost lost his voice there, yelling out in desperation for Hummer Life to actually find something good. I like. I really like the You're signs. You're back, thanks to Prime. If you want to avoid ads, yeah, you can always use your fun. Prime. I I'm not going to be a Pogo sellout. Yeah, very cute. Yeah, you can do other things you want, whatever you got to, whatever you got to do, you do it. Making sure that he sees exactly what's going on. He's going to discover it, but uh, not going to stop the uh, deep ward going down. Karis will know where Pog, this. Uh, let's go, man. You're turning to six. Yep, just a little bit of extra information. Hi, hi. In the early game here. Stop Pogo steer aring. Why are you guys steer aring everything? He's gonna come over here and look for that. Galio has Pog, been let's go, so man. strong on this patch. Uh, Tax collector man. Been by far our best Galio player in the oh, yes. LCK. And, you know, we saw in the MSI uh, tournament that RNG did end up taking a lot so of... So the top matchup, Gwen wins early. But I think so after like 6, Akali has a lot of kill pressure. Gwen can't really... I think Gwen is favored early, but if she makes a mistake, then obviously Akali has Ignite, so... The trades are Gwen favored, it's from what I've seen. But now Galio is buffed, and we're seeing this Night Harvester... Well, hopefully Faker can get a good first base off and play for top. Playing for bot is pretty hard, I think, when they're playing Sivir Tam with Cleanse. How much he actually gets done this game, because Galio is no longer just a... Seed farm, seed farm, seed farm, seed farm. significant amount of damage. And is very Yo, thank you all for the subs. This patch, so thank you all for the prime. I, uh, I really like the pick you right saw Salu, J Cook, Feast, like Poo Poo, yeah, Cole, outside I donate here. Uh, Natural, thanks for subs. Down performances. Showmaker finding zero success on the champion last time around. But like so it'll be a slow early game. The only real thing that can happen in this game is to, uh, playing this well, in the or early or game is uh, yeah, Faker and owner three minute top. Pick, but not for Faker. Certainly not. As Azaeus is fighting Dudu here, he'll be able to uh, pick up the empowered. Auto attack there, but you can see Dudu actually standing his ground here quite nicely in the lane. Does have the minion advantage as well, which should Oh, Zeus used W quite early there. The right you think he and, uh, might have wasted it there a bit. Zayas fighting, trading early as owner comes over. Yeah, Wukong Wukong wins on the one. Willa, so Dudu's going to be all right, but Zayas immediately Wukong rotating on the one level three is pretty strong. to get this kill onto Willa if he can, but no flash to come through either. So Willer is going to be able to just limp his way out of here. Guys, can Still, we mods, 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 mods. Getting a ward over here. Not exactly in the opportune position. As oh, Willer, this is greedy. so dangerous. Yeah, yeah. So greedy. And he's going to get pushed away. I thought for a moment there that he was actually going to try to fight for it. He has smite, but... Dudu, you realize your jungler's not here, right? He's he's walking on uh, it should be fine. So uh, Dudu, of course, is probably just going to be fine. Oh, no. It's going to be difficult for him to 1v1 this one at this point in time, as Willa is at least going to be able to secure the second half of his Krugs. Yeah. There we go. That's Both bot lanes playing Cold Start. I saw this before yesterday, I think, as well, the day before. Be Just Cold Start, Zeri, Severe. Annoying place, and Duder is going to have to teleport back. So, despite no kill going down here on the top side, a huge win for Owner. As he delays, of course, Willer too is now going to try to sneak back up to the top side unseen. Ooh, mm, he's Alcove expecting some kind of gank, yeah. I guess. I do like a bit of Alcove. I don't think they have kill pressure on Zeus unless he griefs. It's really hard. Relatively early here. As I don't oh, think ho, 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 ho. Oh, if so that hit, he mind. would die. Um, I don't think that uh, Zayas expected that uh, Willow would wrap around there, but you got to land the stun. I thought he was going to flash it because obviously Zayas isn't running flash. You flash, hit the stun, Dudu goes in, he has ignite. Maybe you get that kill. Doesn't commit though. He's not trusting himself there, I guess, in that moment. And without the flash, he definitely does miss it. Owner oh, will get double crap now because he overstayed top. Close call there, for sure. Absolutely. But a lot of time spent here for Willer now, as he is going to path bottom side, but a lot of farm lost here, a lot of time lost, and Owner's just sticking around bottom side here. Yeah, he's going to move in. Did that Warden River not spot the Owner? I don't think it did because he hugged the wall and it's hugging the wall. As, yeah, Faker's just going to rotate down. I don't think there's anything they can, they can do bot. Quickly here with his predator they should Galio. just play topside this game. He hasn't actually used those boots yet. He's got some brown bags that he's sorted out for himself, but just uh, not going to go for anything. Mr. Lands a tongue lash, but that is all the aggression that you're going to get out of Harmal Life at this stage. Oh, there's actually a and picture I'll of the truck. To focus a little bit, Wolf. Like, as far as my framing of I have a series, picture I'm of the truck. Focus on the positives for Harmal Life oh my God. in this series because I thought that perhaps T1. We, the SKT T1 fans, demand a clear. And, no, this is, must be an old truck. This is an old truck. And avoiding talking about Harmal Life. This SKT T1. However, very, very or is that from today? Uh, yeah. Stage of the game. I'm starting to feel silly. 
Uh, well, as uh, Zaius, at least with a 10 CS lead, is uh, moving towards the T1 uh, winning camp. Yeah, Hanwha is probably about like 80 gold ahead in total this, this at this point, but it's very negligible at this stage. And I think that Wrong part of the reason why T1 don't have a massive advantage here is, okay, Zaius hit six. Yeah. I was going to say is because this is a pre-6 matchup here on the top side where Dudu had a little That's bit of CLS truck? but wasn't okay. trading it out super well. Oh. But uh, this is a place where you don't have a lot of power. It's Galio into Azir, and it's a Zeri comp bottom side. So T1's comp isn't winning the early fight. You know, they're not getting the massive advantages right now. They're looking for that later on. Yeah. Zayas going to move back up here towards the top side. Willer is in the area as Dudu throws his scissors wide. Not landing all of that snip snip damage, unfortunately. Five point strike, however, will connect. Second one as well. Zayas is really wielding the power of the Akali into Gwen matchup post six, which yeah. uh, is where it gets good. Willer is kind of hovering around, maybe hoping for an all in, but this is actually a, a, wa a wave state that allows owner to come over here unseen. Baker, of course, does have level six. It was in the river, but. Okay, we're just going to watch a 2v2, it looks like, here, straight up. Yeah, but Karis well, is moving pretty well. Make it a 2v1 for the first part, and that is going to be first part oh, he going up. over. Oh, he fucked up. comes through. Zayas is able Azir to walk clean. it out. There's the flash forward from Karis. Can he oh get enough damage down? This is the question is Zayas. He's still alive. What the, the fuck have I just witnessed? Baker is going to at least do a lot of damage here to Karis. <laughs> yes. What am I witnessing? Makes it out to safety. There's the abyssal dive on the bottom side of the map as Hamwa are looking for something. But man, Zayas is just making him look silly. Holy yeah, shit. He, he played that so well. With Zeus, the final baby. Coming through. And like you said, it was a 2v2. Except Willer it was Willer completely was inting that fight. Play, and Zayas is the one to pull the trigger there. This ends up being a fantastic double for T1 on the top side. A kill picked up for Zayas, a kill picked up for Owner. Baker grabs that assist. His ultimate helping keep Zayas alive there as he just walks out casually. Karas will also escape with his life, but man, that was a lot committed to from Hanwha Life. They walk away with nothing. And like you said, they know, okay, the bottom side, maybe we can go for an all in. Maybe if the uh, dive hits, we can get something down here on the bottom side. We know Owner's top side, but they're not able to make that one happen either. Yeah, and two flashes invested on Hanwa's side, and zero invested for T1. Faker and Owner, neither of them even needing it in this oh, instance. Oh, is he playing colorblind, yeah. or is he just have really high saturation? Engage comes through first for the Wukong, instantly deletes the Gwen, then dashes through the Viego before oh, he can actually react. Question mark things coming down, <laughs> and then Faker ults, <laughs> and unfortunately for Holy. Karis, I think he was really hoping maybe he's going to be able to avoid this and get out, but he's not able to do that. Not able to get the kill onto the Akali. Holy. Two kills go over to Beast T1. Mode. Bottom side play again. Small attempt from Sunny and Vista also fails, and there is just now a thousand gold for T1 as they also grab Rift Herald, and this top side matchup, you know, can be fairly Gwen sided, but even in this one it was not. Like, okay, T1 have a really big early game lead. Early trades against Dudu now, and we can't even have a conversation about how it's gonna go for the Gwen. Yeah. Anymore. And we're starting to get some answers about how this matchup has changed um, since last we checked. Last time, by the way, uh, Akali was massively favored here. Pretty big early game lead. I don't know whether it went the same way elsewhere um, as we headed towards um, Yo, MSI, Dark Knight, thanks for that three. Uh, here We're not LCK hosting tournaments, it got cancelled. Uh, Bot uh, is going good for Hanwha Life, but that's about and it, we really. Uh, this um, doing it earlier on in our previous series, and now Zayas trying to get to They have really good top side vision. Akali's ahead. Zeus is in a really good spot. Of, like I mentioned in the previous series, really strong Mid is not behind. That's a pretty good game so far. The most success they are able to min max this matchup the most. And Zayas is doing it so early. And this is again, yes, versus Hanalei, but it's also, it's against Dudu. You know, this is a, yeah, it's an accomplishment actually to say that he's, he's crushing this guy, this particular opponent so hard. But it was also, you know, due to owner, having that really nice pathing, knowing the timing of this, having Faker set up with the ultimate there to come over for the assist. And they walk away with a massive victory. It's really nicely done. Willer is thinking about starting up this Drake. We'll pull it out. And uh, Vista and Chani utilize their wave clear advantage that Siva always has in every match. Ah, uh, here's the truck. Um, just come over it's outside the studio, I think. So first Drake will go over to Harm Alive. But there is still a Rift Herald that's uh, being wielded by T1. And getting control of the map 
is what they're focused on at this stage. You 100 fans wasted money on trucks. They don't represent 1 million fans. Into, and more opportunities for owner to really cause a True. ruckus or carrier even. If he's able is that to Joe Marsh? Yeah. So, T1, I think, uh, rightfully giving that one okay, up. Zeus. Going for the 1v1. Oh, oh his E missed, hurricane. but he didn't miss. As, it's oh, because he went out of the... Okay, you're too good. And I guess Akali can you're just too get good, every Zeus. 1v1. And you're too good. And I can always survive with, like, single-digit health. Yeah, just barely going to survive. Your owner's up here as well. Vista... Not gonna be looking for his E here. missed because not as he threw it, he went out of the shroud, so it didn't actually connect. Knight from Dudu almost burns him down, but he just barely is able to calculate but, uh, how much he has. And this is why this guy is most people's front runner for MVP right now. Just knows exactly how to get the kill. And look at the build. Goes Knight Harvester. He wants to snowball this even further. He doesn't need any extra healing. He's not <laughs> going for the Rift Maker build here. He just wants extra speed. He's got five stacks of Dark Seal. He's like, yeah, you guys gave me the Akali for the counter matchup. I'm just trying to do what I'm supposed to do and keep doing it even harder. Yeah. Well, I, 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 you can't fault him. And if you do, he might just kill you, Wolf. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So just be careful. Yeah, you just watch your tongue, all right? Yeah, no, exactly. 100% <laughs> kill contribution. Uh, Zayas is absolutely a monster in this game so far. I think his E actually didn't connect because of Gwen W. So oh, oh, maybe no, he missed, he missed the it. Shuriken, but it doesn't matter. He doesn't need the backflip damage. Yep. There's a perfect execution. Goes through. Takes was well played. Shot. If he didn't kill the creeps, he would have died, actually, maybe. Is able to live with the potion he has in his pocket. Oh, Karen draw, thanks for the three. Wow. Um, Herald bot. Calculated. Yeah. Ooh, I should get plates. And uh, that is going to be Ona delivering a bunch of money to Gumiushi as well here on the bottom side. Making that uh, Zeri still a factor. It was Gwen W. Of course, hmm. the early game, it's going to look very similar to uh, that of what KT did in game number one of our previous series, which was... The Zeri is very, very quiet, while the Akali does a heck of a lot of work. And then the torch gets passed. Yeah. And uh, in this case, worse, BDS uh, or HLE. we'll see when uh, that's going to happen or whether it's going to probably happen. Probably BDS. Because sometimes, you know, you, your Akali can just run away with the entire game. And, and you can imagine Gumushi's okay with that too. You know, for Rascal oh, Vetti's here. It's uh, 12 13. He those early kills in the I think LCK's lane. on 12 13 and this week still. The Gwen suffered because of it, but this time it's Zayas getting kills onto the Gwen, so this matchup becomes even more disastrous. Whereas Faker is playing a Galio who is going to be giving CS over to Zeri later on. He's actually not going to be the main character of this story. He's just happy to sit around and, and help Zayas out if he can with these early roams. And giving over just one Drake. Not a huge deal here for T1 at this stage of time. In fact, that's how it's supposed to go, as you're alluding to. And Want the call fast? Here for Chani and Vista is going to help relieve some of no. the pressure right now. And this is done very well, very early for Dudu. Reacts comes over here. And I, I like this move from Honda Life Esports. I don't think it's going to net them an advantage, but it's going to relieve pressure on two parts of the map, I think, very well. Yeah, it also just delays the amount of time that Dudu has to spend in a lane with this Akali. <laughs> And if he can be bought any space at all, he's going to be happy. Of course, 1v1 against the Zeri. The Gwen's going to well, 2k gold for T1. Drake's in 130. Yeah, I mean, the They're going to put their bot lane mid now. But, that means you know, Faker is going to go top. Zeus is going to go bot. He can build 1 3 1. Why is HLE's bot lane doing top? Doing Did they try to match? Large majority of the rest of the game. There's no the the Tom was top earlier to try to stop any action top, but it's really bad to have Sivir top. She needs to swap with Azir now. Yeah, good. And Zeri's just going to be looking to cash in on mid minions, setting up for the second Rift Herald fight. Yep, both variety carries have uh, put their cull to bed as well. That one has netted them the gold that it promised. As Chotty and Vista are just going to answer this uh, this ARAM that's going on. Um, as you mentioned, this is likely to be the majority of uh, Gumiushi's positioning this game. Yeah, and both bottom top laners, both top laners who are bottom have teleport. That's uh -huh. what I am trying to say here and they will can of course rejoin for this rift herald fight but one of them is unlike the other in terms of its items <laughs> and 40 cs lead uh that is currently holding currently a level and is a it gonna be a herald fight is CS. and i just don't think this is a realistic fight to try to take here for hanwa life teleports uh, i think hanwa life yeah. is gonna lose I mean, the game if they do this herald if Akali will just TP sure that, uh, on that red ward, top right. To a potential fight, and they have a lot of control, then maybe it's all right. But yeah, there it is. Owner is here. 
And Faker is available as well. So the Here comes the Zeus. Get a deep flank angle as Carrier flashes okay, Carrier fucked up a bit. As we have the taunt, and immediately Pretty Wither nice play by owner. Obliterated. There's the Emperor's Divide, but Karras is using it very defensively. Yeah, they only lost one. I think that would have... That looked like it was going to be a lot worse. One could say. Isaiah's perfect execution to get back to lane. Owner is going to start up the Rift Herald once again. I mean, Zeus is just carrying. Akali carrying, baby. Put Zeus on carries every game. If you decide, okay, we can't fight for this Rift Herald. Now they have Drake as well. Because they can Herald mid. Good play there. by Zeus. Insta base and run bot. Nice. They still get the Rift Herald. They still win the top side matchup. And Zeri farms freely in the mid. So you have to force a Rift Herald to force that teleport out from the Akali. And I don't know if point, they can dive well, through. Might as well look for some they sort of fight or some sort of engage in the mid He's just covering the push out. That so well in the mid game. Normally, you've got the Azir, you have the Sivir, who's got The problem is no one can match Akali. Azir can't stop. match Akali. Owner's well, staying here for a long time. So They're going to lose Drake doing this. Uh, well, okay, the Gwen is uh, going to struggle with They'll get the kill. As Faker is going to pick it up just Maybe they don't lose Drake. Faker could TP two pressure points. Doesn't look too bad actually. Really taken down. This is five I don't think Hanwha Life can do Drake. They missed Q anyway. Away from game territory at this stage. And, uh, if Faker can base the TP here, they can take the 4v4. Gwen no TP, they saw it in the mid fight. To really get away from yeah, Hanwha Life is really completely out of it. Harold? You're, you don't have cross map opportunities anymore as Hanwha Life Esports. I mean, look at the top turret no. on its last okay. legs as minions are deleted there. They're trying to set up here for a defense in the mid lane of this Rift Herald so they don't lose mid turret. It's full health, so, you know, that's one of the things that you have going for you. It's a Galio on the other side, so he hasn't really been slapping that one too much. But T1 will even up Drake's now without even a fight. Hanwha Life Esports are already opting out of fights while the Zeri is sitting on just an Immortal Shield Blow, 0 0 0. I think that really is a symptom of the greater game state. As watch this fight, the second the teleport comes through from the Akali, you should leave. In this I mean, moment. they don't see it, but... They don't know where he is, but they know he's teleporting out. Gwen is just staying bottom yeah, side. Yeah, Viego got one shot. So Yo, Nick, thanks for the three. As Karas is disengaging, it's unfortunately just poorly coordinated here on the side of Honor Life Esports. Good play, top. Yes, this is just due to they got top tier one, I think. Who don't care about his miss. Yep, and, uh, Faker actually they got Drake. Wouldn't walk up there. It's a stomp. Um, was backing, and Ona was like... Well, yeah. they got top tier one now. You wanna just, uh, grab yourself a quick kill? No local gold? Faker's like, don't Faker? Mind if I do. Uh -huh, Aha, so. local gold. First turret blood. Yo, Sepe, thanks for the tier one. Was he in range of local gold there? To go for That's the, kind of uh, sus. Night Harvester this game because of the lead they have. He just goes straight down the Everfrost build. Night Harvester picked up by the Akali. Yep. And uh, he's just happy to be utility this game because he knows he's not carry. No, exactly. I actually much prefer the Everfrost build. Um, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm biased. Um, from I like it in a draft like this. Some people whose opinions I've heard um, for quite a long time uh, in my career. Night Harvester is not necessarily an item that brings good thoughts to my mind. You know what I mean? Sure. Um, although yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I already told you. to be an item that's worked out quite well. Uh, I think it was Lava. Was it Lava that uh, debuted here in the Yeah, I think game? it was Lava first, and we've seen, I think, three players try it now, but every game has looked You got ads different. and you're subbed? This game with the lead that T1 has, there's just no reason to build it here because Faker just wants to be a facilitator for this Akali and Zeri. Yeah. And it's not it's not a game where the Galio needs to actually be the most impactful champion every single time in every fight. He's kind of the backbone of this composition, I would say, with the Leona. But with the what? lead they have, I mean How did you get ads when you're subbed? Here, and yeah. if you the uh, Everfrost feels like almost win more in this situation because you're just so far ahead that you're like, oh, there's no chance for these melee champions. The Gwen's not going to be able to close the distance. The Viego's not. I mean, gonna the, the HLE look completely. Yeah, I mean, they're fucking terrible, the really, aren't they? The Mid tier one will die. Damage. They're gonna get a perfect she game, doesn't this dragon? Zeri. She is uh, just the late game epitomized as Faco. He's capable of doing this. He can just buy space, dashing around, can uh, press his boots button, and he's just. Too fast for Hummel Life Esports to even I didn't uh, get ads and I'm not subbed. Holy. To get Holy. And now T1 just looking to steal away even more of the jungle. Start really getting these screws in. This is kind of what we were expecting from this game. I think the early game was a little bit slower. Um, but the way that this Akali's working, I just feel like maybe the days. Well, the game the should be pretty easy for T1 here. The, like, the easy way of winning this game. 
I mean, it was already starting to He's just pushing problem. sides to Nar mid, taking mid tier one, then waiting for Drakes. The game will be won. And, and play it slow. To make it more fast paced, you just force Nash with topside vision, and Zeus that just flanks them with TP, and, and Zayas, it very you kill whoever walks yeah, up first. Because they have really good turn. Zeri and Leona can turn really easily. Wukong can dash over the wall, Faker can follow. They have really good mobility for turns, I think. Even Tom Kench is a good kill. Okay, Galio gave all the CS to the to the Zeri. Not really. He's still actually keeping up. Zeri has been farming mid, but Faker's been. What is this emote? Pushing waves into turrets, and as a result, Karas has given a lot of CS up to Chunny, but hasn't picked it up anywhere. He's actually massively behind. Okay. Far out farming or anything, and that's just a lot of extra gold picked up by a carry. Is do you want that? Yeah, has to flash to get out of that Zenith blade. Do you want that emote? Threatening off to the side. I love this from T1. Thinking one step ahead of Hamal Life Esports with the fact that Zayas is putting on so much pressure on that bottom side, they just need to hang out in that brush and just wait for someone <laughs> to come over and try and punish the Akali. This is actually the assistance that KT were unable to give Rascal when he was split There you pushing. go, push Make sides sure to mid, eventually this mid tower dies. Your split pusher that has all of that extra control. Has oh, well, that works. For the taunt. Oh, nice, Leona. Where's the follow-up? It was a five-man stun on his own team. To take down the out of turret. Yep. I guess no one could gap close, really. There's still pressure there. If you mess up the defense or you want to actually try to... Or not even the defense. If you mess up your positioning, you actually die. Or if you heavily commit to saving this turret, which is so important for Hanuma Life to actually hold on to at this stage... As a losing control of the map rapidly in the side lanes, then uh, you lose. I don't think there was much follow up. Faker so had nothing left. Right it was on, I guess, Guma could, or Owner. I think Owner could. I don't know. I didn't see where he was. But. Life Esports is deficit in this game, and the Gwen is just never going to be able to catch up. Yeah, Dudu just. Uh, he's falling further and further behind. 0 3 and 0. Um, the Gwen doesn't exist. Choni's farming and really well. We haven't really seen Gwens like this. Super anemic. Faker Magi is chicka chatting. Drake. Give them any value at all, and oftentimes we talk about you know Gwen in the late game though she d does more consistent damage in team fight. It's just not relevant. It's just not relevant because especially when you can't stand next to Faker, who has yeah I saw Zeus misses E. Available, Duda will just evaporate uh, if Gumiushi just looks at him. He will. Let's just say Gwen will not be immune as much nope. in this game. No. Nope. Uh, in even uh, yeah, yeah yeah not even a little bit like you. I mean. The only thing she could be really immune to, uh, you know, in a straight up exchange is like Zeri's poke when she's far away or Galio's winds of war. <laughs> she know? might be immune to a game two ban. Yeah, that maybe might. that's what this this <laughs> this yeah. uh, this game gives her. Because I mean, look at the itemization here too. Wukong has Mal Mar Mar of Mar Mar of Mar Mal Mar Mal Mar Yeah. Um, <laughs> Malreats, uh, <laughs> Here comes the top side vision for Snash. Of Are they gonna send Mordius Faker bot? Yes, that's what the item is. The more of Malmordius. Mal of Malmordius. Yeah, we got there eventually. Yeah. It's been a long night, you know. Um, Let's just call it Mouth of Mobius. <laughs> so yeah. I don't understand why so Gumayushi has so a 300 gold bounty. Is it a, uh, I get why Faker and Zeus do 350 gold. Is so far Maybe it's the plate gold that he got, so the tower gold. Even I the guess. Wukong could just very easily be happy to walk into the scissors. He's just not going to care. Uh, yeah. And he has challenging smite as well. He could practically 1v1 Dudu at this point. And it's, and it's rough. And his job is going to be get on well, top. Well, T1 really like to close out games cleanly, don't they? Like in a slow, clean, methodical way. Well, I mean, he does do Some teams, damage. well, that LPL just sends it uh, most of the time. Don't think a zero two zero Viego is uh, hitting nearly. Not, not in terms of running it down, but th they make the games end quick going when they're this far ahead. Sunfire Cape build once again. Seen this uh, really start creeping up in popularity after the Blade of the Ruin King. As Ona is just going to pop out here. Extendo Beam is going to be spell shielded as Chani is able to get off into the uh, the fog of war. And so on the hunt, going to be enough there, but. What was that? A W? <laughs> and Ghost. So Gumiushi did Ghost. Yeah. Um, and ult. Okay, oh, nice carrier. He's going to hit perfectly here on Karis. As all oh, the Emperor's Divide timed beautifully. Zayas just holding on to the E. Pretty clean. So just that he can backflip back at any time he wants. Yep, just waits for it. Backflips his way back through. That and was so well really played. good Illegal Legends world. It really is Really true. good ult by Carrier. Um, he is very good. 
the weird Holy thing fuck is that Galio. Yo, Sen is exit zero. <laughs> it's an absolute <laughs> misplay. Absolute misplay. Like, what a waste of gold over there. In this my guy. mind, he was going to get POG <laughs> until he bought a useless item. Why did he spend that money on a stopwatch that he's never going to need to use? Well, like, oh no. What is Zeri's oh, well, W called? It's called Extendo Zeri. Beam. Yeah. You see? Zero, zero, Zeri, 350 gold bound. I know these things. <laughs> okay, so I've got a, I got a proposition for you. Wolf. Go ahead. If Gumiyushi gets another pentakill, yeah. will he ever be able to take POG from Zeri? After plays like this that he's been making all day. Uh, no, I don't think so. I, I actually don't think I would give it to him even if he pentas. Unless unless T1 like suddenly throw this game and Hanalei take a lead and then he saves the game with a penta or something like that, but I'm looking at the game state and I'm telling you um, it's more <laughs> likely that I'm actually just gonna fly through the roof like when the elevator goes through the ceiling and Charlie's chocolate yeah, factory. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Augustus Gloop, do you have anything else to say? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna turn into a blueberry. Okay, no, exactly, before that happens. exactly. Owner is going to slink away. A little bit more camouflage. Than well, one minute on Drake. Play for Drake. Keep yeah, them under their tier twos. Uh, 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 well and truly locked in this POG this game. Tier is farming really well. Something about that. I'm not entirely sure. It might have been about Charlie and the Chocolate Factory for all. Maybe when she has IE. Um, as that no, it's lost. The game's over. We got stuck on immediately afterwards. But we've got 45 seconds on the Drake. So T1 looking for this Hextech Soul. Um, as they've taken the last couple of dragons this game. Give me the Oompa Loompa Tom Kench skin. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That's extraordinary. We definitely need to get okay. one of those. Just face check the bush. Stop Willa from you doing anything. Nice two man taunt to come through there. As the ultimate from Carrier is also fantastic. Now Sussy Faker TP. is just going to find Udu as he comes in. That is not the welcome party that he was promised in this moment. 600 zero damage on Zeri W. Are you clan. serious? Probably the, uh, yeah, the they can force Nash. So Nash looks free. Robin. Maybe HLE and can get Bot Tower and Drake. Now they don't have a wave. T1, it's horror. Up on the dragon idea. They're going straight for the Baron. Yeah, and I mean, it doesn't matter if Hanalife Esports get the solo Drake back. In fact, T1 is Zeus going to send it to Faker? Two v three. I think they can do it. And look to actually contest this. It looks like Faker 4. has Flash available. And his Predator Boots still on cooldown. Doesn't look like he's actually quite going to make it here in time. But can they hold this chunk point? Yeah, well, Faker is going to Everfrost onto Willa. There oh, Zeus, here we go, Nikali baby. Here, but she does get pushed out with the Emperor's Divide. Here we go, <laughs> baby, Zeusing. Entrance, but Zeus has already landed. The backflip oh, is the from Kumiushi. Pop goes the bottom lane. And Zeus is going to pick up the kill on the carrot. They can end top. That's an ace, actually, as Dudu had only just respawned, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Yeah, there we go. And T1 will now take this inner turret with the Baron no, they picked up earlier. Yeah, and with everybody just now in the Guma death Susi out of nowhere. going to basically eliminate all of the relevant structures on the map here for Hanwha What a fucking stomp. Hanwha it's a truck diff. For Baron Actual truck diff. Else trade. Not, to, not to act <laughs> like they had any chance of contesting the Baron, as Dudu, of course... Not as quick as that tower dying to cannons, holy shit. Before, but this is an inhibitor Actual here, truck diff. And it will probably be multiple. No one's allowed to die in game. This one is they can group up and take that bottom lane as their anchor point. But they want to back buy items. T1s have a lot of fun this game, as yeah. they should. Let's and have a look at how it all started. We'll yeah. Triple taunt. They're face checking really early. Follow up. Zeri gets the extendo beam into the whole team. And from that moment on, it should have been over. But Dudu was like, oh, I thought this was going to be closer. <laughs> <laughs> So you're saying in the time I channeled my teleport, everybody was out of there. The rough one is Faker wants to flash and get the massive. Your blade, thanks to the nine. He'll settle for one as Zeus comes over here and he's like, "All right, thanks for buying just enough time for me to help wipe this out." And Guma gets over the wall. Riot games. Oh, it's so yeah, flashes the kill. In. Holy, just that gap goes. Just a very comfortable what thousand gold that he picks up in that small moment. I think that that is uh, that's certifiable. I reckon. As he does have a wit's end. It's four items um, on the Zeri right now. Yeah. Um, look at these gold leads. All right, so Fake is 4,000 gold ahead of Karis as the supportive Galio. Five, um, 5,000 for Zeus yeah, here. Yeah, just a casual 5,000 gold lead here for the Akali. 
Um, and of course, being 5,000 gold ahead of the 040 Gwen. They have Nash buff still. Um, okay. Senses, uh, That's one way to engage. Into his own hands. Here's the heroic entrance as Fake is going to turn up as well. The Devour is now on cooldown as. Oh no one die. God, Zeus. Ah, oh, Zeus. Why? Not gonna quite find the Your lad, Nash 16. Is still able to get himself out to relative safety, but what to say? Who should the really pod go to? I think it should go to Zeus. <laughs> Even though he died. In this particular game, maybe safety is the coach's booth um, after this uh, Nexus has I don't finally know. gone down. I don't know if Keswin's going to be, uh, if he's going to be a safe place to be around. Oh, no. Uh, after this one, unfortunately. But look. Oh, but they do get one kill. Yeah, they got Zeus and belly, they belly. got some of his bounty gold. Now that's, that's, that's a 15k really gold lead. T1 really got their fists out today. over the bounty gold. It's time for the comeback. Am I right? Uh, no. I'm going to have to say no. I'm going to uh, okay. shut you down on this one yeah, right now. Okay. No, I'm gonna fair to, I'm going to have to so, let everyone know that Atlas is being sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> so I remembered. I remembered what I was going to say. I remember okay, what okay. I was going to say. But when I, before I was so rudely interrupted by Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> um, I was going to ask you. They just what do the same thing in bot now. On how will I be sports? Oh, like instead of instead of a hair situation? Yeah, instead of like, like you know how I did it and I got super punished. Do you think it's ever possible for you to get punished? Uh. Um, owner's going to say no as he wraps around. Faker also running extraordinarily quickly. I'll tweet I'm an Oompa Loompa if <laughs> I'm an Sports win this game. All right. <laughs> not quite as uh, committal as the shaving of the hair. But yeah, I learned from you to be careful. Yeah. I will never stream again if I'm on I win this game. And actually, it might, uh, you might have T1 fans getting very upset because <laughs> I could imagine that... Yeah, people were upset at me making a bet about that one as well. Caster curses are real, and they are things that we need to respect. As owner, he's going to be tanking this one, but he's just going to go straight forward, finds the Cyclone. Oh my god, the AoE damage is insane. Faker blocking them all down. It's a double kill here already for Zayas. As Dudu is going to go golden, but he's just going to prolong the inevitable. It's a double kill here for Guma Yushi. It's well, right now. They're looking to make P1 a just do that again, and then the trucks will disappear. Yo, Faker! Fa fountain, and Gumiyushi might be given the triple as he's going to be knocked up. Willa doing his best Faker impression as he goes back towards his fountain now, and it's just going to be two pair, but that will be...